So good morning once again, Express FM. We're going to shift gears now after that very obviously intense um, but very necessary conversation. And welcome you back to the kitchen. Lazan is here joining us as well, as long as um, we've got Teresa governing our, our process here. Um, we obviously want to address the Monday blues, fill those stomachs with delicious food and think of crispy phyllo pastry, a spicy lamb filling and the goodness of Be Well, all crammed into one gorgeous little pocket, one mouthful where well, we've got Chef Teresa in the house, which means only one thing, more delicious food made simple, fresh and fast. That's the key thing here is simplicity. And today we're going to bring some flavors of the East right into the comfort of your own home. So without any further ado, please give a round of applause for Chef Teresa. <laughs> Uh, Teresa, we love you um, because you do make things simply, but you make Aww. things unbelievable. She just creates the most delicious things. Yum. Okay. Um, so you showed such great tasting ability with our tart. Mm -hmm. We thought we'd put you to work and actually let yes. you have a I'm yes. ready. Um, so, done. Done. Um, put it to work, Teresa. Put it okay, to work. Okay, right. <laughs> well, let's make our lamb filling first of all. Okay. So I'm going to be using the grapeseed oil. We're going to put a little bit into our pan. Mm -hmm. And then our base is onion and garlic. So we're going to pop those in. You finally chop the onion there. Yes. You know you're off to a good start with these flavours. And don't be shy. No. With your, oh. your garlic. Yeah, I'm from Durban. I love flavours. So, <laughs> smash it. Crush All it. Good. And we've got lots of spices here. We've got cumin, coriander, cane pepper, and smoked paprika. So oh, we're going to wow. put all of those in. And the smoked paprika at the moment, or any kind of smoked chili powder, chili flakes, it's such a big thing mm, at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So I love delicious. it. It brings a bit of heat, but not quite as much as a a fresh chili, which is yeah. it's still cool. No, you want that flavor in there. Then I'm going to be adding some lamb mince, but you can substitute it with chicken, beef, pork. Those will all I work think the, the lamb is great for, a, for adding that kind of Eastern flavor ah. influence. The lamb is mm. nice. That's right. And if you want to make a vegetarian version, then aubergine is a good alternative. Oh, so there's nice. lots of different options that you can use here. And so Zan, do you cook? Are you a, a really good? Don't I can see I'm the smile in you your on eyes. The spot. No, just <laughs> do I look you, like I cook? Um, yes, you look like you're amazing in the kitchen. Great answer. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> Anyone can make this. <laughs> yeah. Very, very. Simple. I should have asked you enjoy cooking because I really enjoy cooking, whether I can cook or not. That's that's open to debate. Um, beautiful stuff. And we know the bee well. Um, the grapeseed oil probably has the highest smoking point. Avocado oil, grapeseed oil, two of the highest smoking points that you can get that makes it ideal for high temperature usage. And um, we know uh, on the nutritional front, obviously endorsed by the Heart and Stroke Foundation of South Africa, that's massive. So it carries the Cancer Smart Choice Seal, which is a big, big mm. endorsement. Very high in vitamin E as well, and those all important omega-3s. Yeah. So um, they not only do they help with our mental health and um, with depression, um, but we've been reporting this morning on the high incidence of heart disease mm. in South Africa and the omega-3s yeah massively important to include in our diet and naturally cholesterol free. So you're yeah. a little bit of a super, super oil there. Mm. <laughs> right? right, so we're going to add up the last few um, ingredients. We've got some spinach. This has been wilted and chopped already. We're going to add some red pepper. So beautiful colors mm. and again, lots and lots of flavor and health benefits as well. And then some tomato paste. And the red pepper is nice because it adds a different textural element as well. So Absolutely. if you've got a lot of kind of wet yeah. ingredients in, in something like this, to have that additional crunch and the pop of color That's doesn't, it. doesn't yeah. hurt. I mean, it's, yeah, it just looks beautiful. So stir those through and just let any excess liquid reduce. Let that cook nicely. And then to finish it off, we're going to add some fresh herbs. So we've got parsley, mint, and coriander. So pop that all in. And then, Do of course, don't forget to season and taste it as well. Take the seasoning. Yeah, season Make sure taste. you're happy. There's, That's my favorite part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there's, yeah, I'm, you're, and you are very good at it. There's, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with you taking a little taste and then you seasoning. Have to. Don't just do it blindly. You must, you must check. Before it gets to the table, you need to check these things. So once you're happy, you can set it aside and leave it to cool for a little bit. And, and when you say kind of removing the moisture, cooking that off, you obviously don't want too much moisture once you've wrapped it in a little, yeah. well, your, your, it. your pastry parcel. You know, if your spinach is a little bit wet, you might see a bit of liquid, so just let that all boil off yeah. and then you know you're done. So that's looking beautiful. And we're going to start rolling now. So okay. you're going to help me with you this. You are going to be doing <laughs> the wrapping and the rolling, yeah. Yes. Um, you still haven't told me whether you're a good, good cook or not. So we are, you're we're going about to see to now. Out, yeah. <laughs> This is very, very simple. Right, we're going to cut this in half. Can you okay, pass me that knife there and then we can each do one. So let's cut that in half there. 
Do you make these amazing foods at home, Theresa? I, I, I like to, do, yes. do you feel the pressure <laughs> when you get home? Because this is all you do all day, every day. I love I imagine it. your family I... just sitting there at the table like, Mom. Um, <laughs> What's coming tonight? I'll yeah. be like, oh. No, I mean, that's, that's my passion. That's what I do. So... Yes, is the answer, I guess. <laughs> or, or do you just take home what you make during the day and you're like, yeah, there you go, I think it would be a better idea. Yeah, right. whatever I've been shooting in the day, that's your dinner. Right, so what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of the lamb filling into the middle. Oh, and it's really so, aromatic. And it smells oh, amazing. Mm. doesn't it? Don't, don't be shy of the flavours, guys. Right, I'm going to pass that to you. Okay. And I'm going to brush the edges with a little bit of egg. So do you want to use that spoon one it, there? Spoon it out, get, get Let's do it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Um, and the thing with phyllo pastry is you do need to work quite quickly because it does dry out because it's exposed. Ooh. So I'm just going to brush. Okay, so as you, as you are wrapping up, and I suppose you can kind of work on your own technique, but you, so you've just done the corners there with a bit of Yes, so of I like to egg. go diagonally. I find that, oh, that cool. keeps everything in. Tuck in the sides and then just keep rolling. Oh, wow. Roll it like that. You do make it really, look really, really simple. Yeah, that's... Very, very easy. Uh, I don't know how, if I can do that. How long in the oven then? So then what we're going to do is brush them with a bit of the egg wash, sprinkle some uh, seeds on top, and then 20 minutes at 180. And then it will come really out looking yeah. exactly I like know. that. So the corner over. Cool. And then fold Perfect. in your sides. Okay. And then roll. Oh, look, look at you. Me. Look at you. You did yeah. the thing. I'm going to be the voice in your head whenever you're cooking. You're just <laughs> yummy, like... Um, oh, that's beautiful. So the keyword here is be well to double three seven two eight, and you could be on your way to creating these gorgeous little lamb phyllo parcels yeah, with so a taste easy. of the east. And sprinkle with the seeds, yeah. and Salt we bait. are done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Superb. <Yeah. laughs>